All right, here we are in front of uh, 2915 Clarendon Drive. So this is more like in the central part of Colorado Springs. This is the neighborhood here. Just have to clear out these weeds and everything. You have a couple of trees in the front here. You actually have a lot of trees. Really nice. Multi-level house. One car garage. Driveway here. It's a long drive. You can fit at least two cars in this driveway. Easily. You have the brick with the stucco. So that stucco looks pretty, pretty fresh. The screen door here with the front door. Looks like the wiring they put it through here for the doorbell. And then you walk in, you have some uh, ceramic tile, and you walk right into the living room. You have two big windows here. New carpet. And then you go walk into the kitchen where you have ceramic tile. It's a nice kitchen actually. It's nice setup with a bar here. Looks like a new fridge. New stove, new dishwasher. Not sure what that was. So yeah, so you have uh, all new appliances. I just turned on the light to here. So you have this light fixture up here. Security system. This is the door for the garage. I couldn't find a light in here, so you can kind of see this area here. Some cabinet space and uh, some countertops and for tools here. And then just enough space to, to park a vehicle. You have extra space over here on this side. The door's right there. You have a door to the outside here with a doggy door there. So, kind of close this. This is for a table here. Um, it's enough space for a decent sized table. All these pieces of ceramic tile look like they're in good shape. You have the yard here. We can just take a quick look. Because there isn't much to see. So you have a deck. Definitely needs to be painted. Maybe parts of it replaced, but definitely needs to be painted. It's, it's uh, It feels pretty sturdy for the most part. That looks like a... It's all set up for like a little waterway there for a stream or... But yeah, definitely the yard needs to be. What's good about winter is all this is going to die anyways. <clears throat> so you guys won't have to do much by the time you get here. You have the uh, stucco back here. The stucco looks pretty, pretty fresh. To, as well as the, the roof. The roof looks pretty new for the most part. And the windows too look like... They're not brand new windows, but they're... They're near windows, they're not, they're not original windows, that's for sure. Tree here. <clears throat> so let's check out the rest of the home here. This sliding door is like, has the shades on the inside, as you can see. It's pretty nice. So down here, and all new carpet down here as well. The railing here is metal railing, railing so they painted it gray. It looks, it looks nice. That's to the crawl space in that part of the house. You have a window here. You have all this here. It looks like they painted it when the TV was up. They didn't do a very good job painting as you can, as you can see. It needs probably another coat. Now the window here view from this side 
yeah, it's a wood running fireplace, for sure. Over here you have a bedroom with three three windows, so you get a lot of natural light in here. So you have a beige color and a pink color right here with the closet on this side. You walk out here, washer and dryer are right over here in the in the family room. So this is the family room, washer and dryer right there. And you can go down through here and you'll find a restroom. Vanity and everything. Different color in here, you have a, a dark blue. And you have a shower, stand-up shower here with ceramic all the way to the ceiling. This is just space there. And you have a window here as well, looking down to the front yard. Sure they'll be installing that they should be actually uh, let's see here you have a door this is the water heater right here where it's connected the furnace itself is going to be in the crawl space so the access to furnace it'll be right through there so let's look at the upper level All right, we get to the top of the steps. We have another restroom, ceramic tile on the floor, on the shower. It's a tub shower combo. Looks like it's all in good condition. And we have a vanity here. The vanity itself looks, well, it's not new, but it's, it's, it's nice. And you have a light blue color in here. Again, they didn't do a very good job painting. As you can see, <laughs> I don't know what they did, but <laughs> just wanted to point that out for you guys. Uh, up here as well, you know, they they definitely needed just a second coat. So whoever painted just went super quick. Here's the bedroom. There's the closet there. And then, view of the, the backyard um, not a very big bedroom but it'll do and then you have the color in here right pink you can see all the way around but, and then whatever that is but it's a part of the house I'm not sure what was under there I think some plumbing for the from some stuff here is the other bedroom. Shades are just closed in here, but you have a, another window to the backyard and the closet's over there. I'm not sure where this goes exactly, but you have a closet right here, some shelving and everything. All new carpet up here. Then over here you have the master bedroom. Well, at the end of, oh, that's where it goes, right? So this is the linen closet. This door that's right over here goes to here. They just need to install it. <clears throat> they removed it when they installed the carpet. And this is the master bedroom. So you have like a lime green color in here. Two big windows. And then you have the, the mirror doors for, for the closet. It's a big closet though. It's definitely a big closet. And then you have the, the restroom over here. Ceramic tile there, glass doors. You have ceramic tile all the way to the top in the shower. Here's your vanity. Toilet and stuff, and you have another window here. So these windows are kind of cool. You don't see these too often where they're they're very low to the to the floor. And they're actually pretty high to to the ceiling so that's how these are over here you know it's just a, just a little different you can't 
I like them and I don't because you can't put any furniture there. You know what I mean? If it was up here, then you can easily, you know, put a dresser across here and it wouldn't be blocking the windows. So you kind of like, you're losing wall space there just because they wanted to do the windows this way. And it's just the original design of the, of the property. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I'll get some, I'll get some footage of this area because I, I haven't, I know, I'm not, I don't think we've seen houses in this specific spot of the, the city. So I'll, I'll take some footage around here for sure. All right, let me know what you think. Bye. All right, so here we're leaving the property. So this is the main road right off the property. This is Hancock. So you have the neighborhoods are that which that where the house is located is all over there on this side of the of the road. This is like a main road here, uh, really close to the to the airport and everything. Academy is right up ahead, and then Powers is actually really close to here as well. So you can take either 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 one of those roads will take you straight down to uh, Fort Carson. So off Academy, you'll pretty much find everything you guys pretty much need when it comes down to like grocery stores, convenience stores, gas stations, and everything. So have a gas station over here. I think you probably have like a, a Walmart, Walmart over there or something. Yeah, it's like a shopping center on that side. King Super, which is a grocery store, and you have another little shopping center on this side over here. You can't really see it. Little plaza, other stuff up ahead. Right through here, if you take <clears throat> Milton Parkway, that'll take you straight to the airport. Again, this is probably just like a five minute drive from the airport, maybe a little bit more, but. And right here, I just, if I just stay here, I'll go straight into Fort Carson. Like, uh, probably of three to like five minutes from, from Fort Carson, from right here. So that's how that's how close it is. So you're, you're, like, you're probably like the most, uh, a 15 minute drive at the very most uh, to one of the gates. This would take you straight to gate four. So depending on where, I don't know, where your unit is located, gate four would pretty much get you, get you to, to the most, to the main part of Fort Carson. Gate 20 is like a little further away from the main part of Fort Carson, which is where you enter from, from, uh, from Fountain and Powers. But yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. Again, you, yeah, you can see the mountains now. All that smoke cleared out finally from the fires. That's how close you are. <laughs> but uh, it looks pretty nice. But uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know.